Hi everybody! Today we're going to do some experiments. The first experiment is this candle's light will blow off. I will not do anything. I will not blow it. I will, I will, I will not even touch it. But let's see how it does. The materials required are a glass cup. If you use uh, any other cup, you can't see what's happening inside. So a glass cup is better. Then we need a matchbox and a candle. First, we need to light the candle. Take a matchstick. Don't do this um, without elders because it's very dangerous. Go light. Next, we keep this aside. Now, we take the glass cup, then we close this up. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. It's getting dimmer. <gasps> Look! The light just... My brother wants to do, do this experiment one more time, so let's go. Okay, where is my brother? Yes, here he is. Okay, let's do a, this experiment. You know how to do this experiment, right? Close up. Let's see what happens. Oh, I think the light's getting a little bit dimmer. Yes, it is. Oh, it's getting a little bit smaller. And done. That's it. That's it. But do you know how it happened? You can see if I light this candle, it... It, the fire will be right here. Then if I close it, there will be no oxygen because I closed it. No oxygen can come here. But there will be a little bit of oxygen inside. So that's why it took a little bit of time to get uh, blown off. So that's how it happened. Very simple, right? And the concept is fire cannot live without oxygen. See? Oxygen. Make sure you try this at home. Now, let's move on to the next experiment. In this experiment, we're going to see the secret ink of the lemon juice. For this, the required materials are a paper, a paintbrush, some lemon juice, which I squeezed from this half lemon, a candle, and of course a matchbox. First, like paint, we need to dip the paintbrush in here and draw something. Let this dry. Now we cannot see anything. It's dry. Now let's expose it to the heat. Now can you able to see the, my drawing? Yes, it is a smiley. Can you see it? Let's see the reason. When I painted the lemon and dried, the lemon just stuck, stuck to the paper. Then when I exposed it to the heat, the acid in the lemon changes color when heating. It turned into a little bit darker. So now you can see it. It is a irreversible change of heat. Now 
let's move on to the third experiment. For this experiment, we need a balloon and a skewer. In this experiment, I will insert the skewer, but the balloon will not pop. Let's see how to do this. First, you can see this bottom. Take the skewer and then now you should insert it. Now I insert it through this this hole. Then the skewer came out of this hole. See still the balloon doesn't stop. Pop. Do you know how? It's because there is a chain of molecules called polymers. They are all linked. On these two ends, they are very thick. So, if you put the skewer inside it um, and take it out, um, the air will come out very slowly. But if you prick it in this side, um, the polymer links are very um, thin and it is weak. So, if you um, break one polymer link, all the polymer links will break, then the balloon will pop. Now, let's get it out. Let's break it in the middle. I'm very scared. Whoa, that was awesome. Oh, look and all the polymer links broke. Then the balloon burst. Um, hope you like the experiments. Don't forget to try these experiments at home and enjoy. And don't forget to do the burst part. It was so fun. And don't forget to try that. Okay, if you if you like this video, please subscribe and share this to your friends and families. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for more notifications on our videos. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.